And welcome to News 13 New This Morning. I'm Mike Powers. This is Wednesday, August 31st, and we'll get to the day's top stories coming straight up. But first, the Morning Blitz forecast. And here's meteorologist John Smith. Good morning, John. Good morning, Mike. And we're off to a warm start in the metro. 71 degrees already this morning. A calm wind out there right now. Taking a look at other temperatures across the state. We're sitting only at 45 degrees in Alamosa, 52 in Taos, 55 for Las Vegas. We warm things up as you head south and east especially. Take a look at Roswell, 72 already and 80 degrees at this hour in Carlsbad. We're on our way to triple digit heat once again for this afternoon. Taking a look at the satellite and radar, we have clear skies across much of the state, although we do have a few clouds, especially as you move down toward the Gila as well as down toward the southeast. But those clouds will burn off as we go through the morning hours and we will be be mostly sunny going through most of the morning and then we'll start to bring a few more clouds in for the afternoon. A chance for just a spot shower as we go through the afternoon today, but most of you will stay dry with temperatures making their way to the mid 90s. All right, John, thank you. Parishioners want their former pastor to pay up. Here now is the morning news. Blitz. The Shepherd of the Hills Lutheran Church in Ruidoso has filed a civil lawsuit against its former pastor, Kevin Crone. The suit alleges Crone stole $70,000 by pocketing donations from parishioners. A state public education department task force says teachers should be rewarded with more pay if their students make good grades. The panel recommends the state pay incentives to teachers if students do well in certain subjects like math and science. The federal government is hiking up security around the country ahead of the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 terror attacks. People can expect more security at airports, mass transit stations, government buildings, major sporting events, and at U.S. borders. Vermont residents cut off by flooding and damaged roads and bridges have gotten help from the National Guard. Helicopters on Tuesday dropped off food and water to residents in some 12 communities who have been in dire need since the remnants of Hurricane Irene struck over the weekend. And Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Michael Vick says he hopes the next chapter in his comeback will be to lead his team to a Super Bowl win. Vick, who served 19 months on felony dogfighting charges, signed a six-year, $100 million contract. And those are the midweek headlines.